channel. Welcome to the vlog. This is Car Connection. Sunday, kind of a rainy day, gloomy day. Coming here to the used car dealership, seeing what these guys have. Let's go check it out. A nice little classic over there. That looks sharp, man. I saw a Corvette uh, 2023 06. You know, one thing about this channel, as you guys know, I go through a lot of cars. I've never, you know, the first car I had never owned was a Mustang and I end up owning, I don't know, two or three of those. And they're actually pretty good cars. Never owned a Corvette. So who knows, man, I just don't know. I have a family and kind of the two seater is not the best idea for us. I mean, we have an SUV, see it, Z06, man. Boy, she's gorgeous. Wow. Look at this beauty right here. Maybe that's the new whip, man. It'd be the new whip for the channel. I'm not sure. And I'm not saying this one in particular. I'm talking about just getting a Z06. I thought about doing an E-Ray. As you guys know, I got, I, I like that. Um, I know it's a hybrid and it's not a plug-in hybrid on the E-Ray. Grand touring car, you know, does zero to 60 in about 2.5, which actually beats this car zero to 60. So maybe the E-Ray, but this car right here, boy, she's gorgeous. Look at that thing right there. Hey, it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a gives me a Superman or Captain America. Like, I don't know. I like the, the blue with the yellow calibers. Don't really like those yellow stripes on it. Yellow seat belts, as you guys can see. The interior match the exterior. Like they say, does, does the top match the drapes? <laughs> it's good looking. It's just a little bit too, uh, I don't know. This Z06 over here is the one that uh, looks extremely good looking, man. I hadn't actually seen one in person till now. And it looks pretty sharp. I think I would go more with like a white or maybe even like a blue. Which I'm a big orange kind of guy in case you haven't figured that out already. But this is really, really good looking. Car dealership. I don't think I see anything else here that seems, you know, enticing except the old, old feller over here. Let's go check out the old feller. Or some people like to call it uh, old heads. Let's go check out the old head. I think the young kids now consider me, you know, I'm in my mid 40s. And I think for folks, I think we're considered old heads at this point. Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's a Chevy. That's a big dent in the cab, but man, she's really nice, man. This is really good looking over here. Sure, well, I don't know how hard it would find to replace one at a pick your part or maybe ordering it online. But man, she's a good looking truck, man. To be somebody's truck, actually. Somebody owns this truck. It has license plates on it and it's gorgeous. Yeah, that's really nice, man. I like my classics, man. I'll tell you what, known, known more well as the taco. It's nice. Again, the color to me it does it. It looks, uh, it's something about orange, dude. That's one thing I regret when I had my GT500. You know, it was that, Al what is it? Uh, what was it called? Atlas Blue with the black stripes. I wish it would have been orange with the white stripes. I think that's a bit or something about orange for me, the pumpkin color just just does it for me. I don't know what year. I know they effed up on these trucks. It's a 2023 and I think these are the ones that don't come with the engines that people like. They like more of the older engines, I guess, because they're more reliable. I'm not a big truck guy. I know enough to have some type of conversation with folks. TRD Pro. I know that's the one that comes with the better, you know, off-road suspension. That I do know. And uh, it's like an inline four, I think. I think the older ones, keep me honest, guys, they used to be like a six cylinder. C8's over there across the street. You guys see him? That's the new. So I'm here off of 290 area. I think this was called Lone Star Chevrolet. I'm gonna go over there and check those out. On some cars, I'm always looking at cars, guys. That's just the way I'm wired, man, all the time. This car yesterday by hand, just hope it doesn't rain right now. I just had to get out of the house for a little bit. I can't just be in the house all day, just, I don't know, staring at walls. I didn't even lock her, bro. All right. All right, follow me across the street here. During COVID guys, and I'm, I'm, everybody experienced the same thing, but these lots were empty. There was nothing here, guys. There was trucks, there, there were a couple of trucks, but they were really overpriced. This thing is full of cars, man. I love it. It's just, it's just tough right now because of uh, interest rates. 
that's making these cars. One, the cars are very expensive. Interest rates are an all time high. I just saw something here that just caught my eye. I'm gonna go over the fence real quick here. Nobody, the dealerships here are pretty cool. I know there's some dealerships that have like cameras and all, you know, they talk to the speakers and tell you to get off their lot. But here, so far, it's pretty chill in this dealerships. I've been to it. I've run my, my Chevy Bolt for service here. They're cool as shit. Yeah, I hadn't seen this. So this is a new EV Silverado, guys. Tell me what you think. Again, this is competing against the uh, Tesla Cybertruck. Also the Ford F-150. This is the base model. Let me back over here, give it a different perspective. Boy, she's a big girl. My God, it's a big ass truck, guys. Look at all these trucks, man, my word. If you're in the market for a Suburban, I mean, it's a perfect family hauler. They're a big old truck, my God. Over here, let's look at these vets real quick and we'll walk out. There's a blue one, red one. Anything capturing my eyes? Not really. This one is capturing the eyeballs. The white on black looks pretty sharp. This one catches my eyes. What are they asking for? It's a 2024 2LT. 86,000. Honestly, guys, I recommend for you guys just to buy a used certified pre owned one. If you're looking at one, same style, same shape, you're going to get even more warranty. If you buy it certified pre owned, I think they come with like a year. So if you buy a year or two year old one, you're going to save a lot on depreciation. So the cars, especially right now, the C8 is one of the highest depreciating cars. So if you've been in the market for a Corvette, Highly recommend, man, you buy maybe a 2020 or 21 certified pre-owned from GM. You get really good warranty on the car still that has left from the factory plus the extended warranty. Save $15,000, $20,000, guys. I'm a no-brainer. And there's so many, they're flooding the market. So, again, if you're in the market, and don't limit yourself. See, a lot of people, when they're going to buy a car, they limit themselves to their state or within a specific, uh, you know, radius. Expand your horizon, man. I mean, find a GM dealership, sort by certified pre-owned, one owner, you know, and find a car, man. And these guys, sometimes, you know, you can negotiate the shipping costs. Typically shipping them where you're at can be anywhere between a thousand and $2,000. Um, and it, and you still might win, even if you buy it, you know, um, say from a further away, you, you might be get a much more low to say a 2LT, 3LT car instead of a 1LT, less mileage certified pre-owned. Again, if you're in the market for a Corvette, this is the time to do it if you have the money. All right, guys. Hope you guys like that. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. Peace.